Right, I'm gonna go for this fish in ankle deep water, and if I can't stick him on uh, this, I'll uh, swap to a different rig because very, very difficult to get. He's gonna line it up. No. Goodness. Feeding hard. Got him that time. And now I'm going to have to stop this fish. It's a nice fat hen uh, on the way up to spawn, I think. Just get her in front of me. Quite a bit easier to handle them like this. She's a lovely, lovely fish though. Get him in pretty smartly just so we can uh, get him away nice and quick. Nice uh, little fish. You look at that. Excellent. All right, away you go, bud. Oh, back to an old favourite pool. Um, not very much water in it, but um, fairly certain I've just seen a fish hanging out, so uh, I'll put the fly in. Yeah, it looks like one. Yeah, that it was. That's quite a nice one too. Change the wind, go forward. That's the one. That's exactly where I wanted him to go. That was beyond impossible. That's a big fish too. That's a horse. Male too. Really nice fish out of this water. And this is the problem. Oh, problem. Big problem. Now I need to stop him. If I can get him around here. We're away, and we are, at the moment. Goodness me! Oh. 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 One of the fattest fish I've ever caught, probably. That back on it, holy crap. No wonder he's wrapped up. He um, had the fly in around his jaw, and it's just in the bottom there on the pheasant tail. Goodness, he gave me a good run. What a horse. Absolutely. Gotta be over around the six pound mark. Good shoulder. Amazing. Quite a bit bigger than this to make uh, seven, which is roughly where my PB is. He wouldn't be seven. Not quite anywhere near that, really, but he certainly looks it. So, um, yeah, well, I'll uh, get some photos and I'll do the release. Um, just got the photos. And, yeah, he wouldn't, he wouldn't be a PB, but he is a true, really, really nice fish. You look at the length of him. Uh, 
and the sheer girth on this fish, especially that shoulder, um, amazing, truly. Well, I'll roll him over on that side. He's got a lovely, lovely cheek on him, beautiful and pink, and not a mark on the fish. I don't think this fish has ever been caught or um, anything, so I'll let him go, and he can go up the spawn. Oh, that's made my week. It's another really nice pull here with a decent drop off and I've already seen a couple there. There's one pretty clear in the centre and um, another one ahead. So we'll see what these guys think of it. They got it. <sighs> Saw him line it up as soon as he uh, as soon as it went in. extra pressure on him. Can't stop him. He's right in there. Ah, get out. Did he stop running yet? Doesn't want to stop. May have got me already, but uh, we'll see. I don't know. Starting to move him. These fish are so strong at this time of year. It's just that water temperature going down. It's the perfect temperature for these fish. And uh, they do what they like. That fish, I had my thumb on it. I did the drag up. Couldn't stop him. And if he went in there, it would have been all over. Alright, this one's starting to be beaten now. Right, belly up. And that's it. And there goes the other one. Don't want to lose you now. That's another stunner. Bang on, that's where you want it. See that there? A lot of um, size 12 feet head that I tied myself on a tungsten bead. Gets that fly right down and he saw it as soon as it landed, uh, this fish, and lined it up as soon as it went anywhere near him, so, um, yeah. He's not quite as big as the last one, but all the same, stunning. Uh, up towards the five pound mark again, he's, he'll be over oh, right around that five pound mark, just because of how thick he is through the shoulder. Yeah, but he went quite deep enough, were you? Look at the amazing colours, just these wonderful spots. And those pink, almost orange fins on the side. Just the transition over from river colours to uh, the spawning. Oh, wrong way, buddy. Oh, he doesn't quite know where he is. Come on. There you go. I think he's good now. He's sorted himself. Yep, he's good.
my goodness. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. How on earth did I do that? That is a horse too. Okay. So after that absolutely ridiculous scene of events, the fish went in that log jam right in the back of it. I tried my best, I hooked it up here, it came down here, I pulled as hard as I possibly could on that leader and the fish went under that log, I got the rod under the log and then the fish kept going down there, I kept its head round, eventually I got it down to that point there and then it went in on my net shot and that's happened to me a million times before but the leader held, the fly held and um, I had to end up handlining it in the end the um, leader held on the handlining too the fish had pretty much been beaten at that point but it was a hell of a lot more to go on and then somehow I got his head in and then it was a huge issue trying to get the fish in because the fish is a real horse too um, probably around the so, I, I don't even know, it's probably close to a PB this fish, it's very very big for me um, especially out of this river, it's a absolute stonking rainbow um, and after a fight like that yeah, it's unreal, I, I, I really thought I'd lost it as soon as it went in there but uh, if you don't give up um, you can do anything I guess <laughs> but um, yeah there's been too many times where that's happened and I haven't done it, so um, one out of a hundred, I guess. Look at the look at the back on it. Look at that. Stunning hen. I've got a bit of weed on her. You can't do much on these fish. I'm fishing six pound today just for that reason that fish are that powerful that I can't stop them even with uh, my drag up and my thumb on the reel because if I put any more pressure on it's just going to snap. So um, yeah, that's the the quality of the hooks that I'm using the Black Magic uh, A series and the six pound fluorocarbon. Um, amazing, I wouldn't be able to land this fish without it. Um, yeah, crazy. Yeah, I thought that first one I got was big, but this one, even bigger. <laughs> and yeah, she's got weight to her, all right. Pop her up, look at the back on her. All right, away you go. Away you go, big girl, there you go. Nice, another go at these. Um, doing my best, uh, try and hook one up. Just got to get that fly down to them, it's the uh, main thing. Right down to their depth, which is hard on the bottom, they're not moving. Oh, there's a big fish there. Oh, what? I got one. That's a huge one, too. <laughs> what? Got one. That's a huge one, too. <laughs> Don't jump into the tree. <laughs> I don't even see that fish. It came out of nowhere. Bit hard of a run this time. Going up. Going into a strange position now. Going for it. Absolutely pissing out line now. Hidden under there now. Now, has she got me on something? Feels like she has, maybe. This is tough work tell you. I don't know where she is. And I don't know where my fly line is. Uh, it's properly in there. And what I want to find is where that fly line is actually gone. Nice. 
no way. She out. So I've just pulled the line out and now it's still tight, so I don't know if there's a fish on there or not still, but I would be amazed. No way. She's on there still. <laughs> just to check out another fish that I've brought into his pool, of course. We may just need a oh not right. done yet. Um not quite sure how I'm gonna do this, but um get the release shot on this video. She looks pretty ready to go. Another really nice fish. We'll just uh, sit here in the net. And she's ready to go, so oh whenever she's ready she can go actually. She's gonna sit there and play on the off of the net. We'll just sit there with the tail at the back. Pretty nice spot, isn't it, fish? Is she ready to go? She certainly is. Because there she goes. Good fight, girl.